There are different styles you can apply to your table. You can adjust the width and the height of the table. You can add border lines. You can align the text. You can vertical align it or horizontally align it. You can add padding, which is space on the inside of an element. So in this case, that would be space on the inside of the cell. And we can even do background colors and colors. So to start, I have an internal style sheet on my table. And I'm going to start by just doing the table selector. And let's go ahead and give it a border. I'm going to do one pixel black solid and close off the curly brace. Then I'm going to do a split. And now you can see that I have a border going all around the outside edge of my table. If I want a border on around each cell, I would do comma TD. And since I have THs, I'll add that there too. And now I have a border around everything. If I want to adjust the width of the entire table, I have to add this table selector again. I'm going to do width, and I want my table to fill, let's say, 75% of the screen. Close off the curly brace, and now it expands it. And you might notice that it looks like I have a double border going on. If you want to get rid of that double border, you just want to do what they call a border collapse. and then tell it to collapse. And then that will turn that into a single border. Other things that you could do, maybe we want to style the header, we'll do a TH, and then we can do a background color. And you would want to pick a color from your color scheme generator that went with your theme. And I don't have a TH, so nothing changed. But what I can do to show you that is I can change these Ds to an H. And now you notice that my top row has turned green. You can even style that heading to have a different font family. And a different font size. Just doing things to make it stand out. Now let's start styling our individual cells. So our selector would be a TD. And what we can do is do a vertical align. And you want it to be top, middle, bottom. So I'm going to tell it that I want it to be aligned in the middle. We can even do padding. So maybe I want five pixels padding around the cell. Maybe we want to give it a height, so each cell is going to have a certain height of 50 pixels. And we'll preview that to see what it looks like. We can even try to do a text align and see how that moves the text to the middle. And now you'll notice that the text is sitting perfectly in the middle, horizontally centered and vertically centered. So make sure to preview to see what it looks like. So to style the individual cells, we would do TD as our selector. To style our headers, we would do TH as our selector. To change the width of the entire table, do table. To ensure that you have a border around all cells, you can do table, comma, TD, comma, TH.